Welcome to Adora Live, Unlaced, with Anne-Marie Rada. This sexy and smooth adults-only show explores the latest trends with exclusive interviews from deep within the erotic industry. So mix up a martini and relax with Adora Live, Unlaced. Welcome back to the next episode of Adora Live Unlaced. I'm your host, Anne-Marie Rodder, and this episode is called The BBW Show, or Big Beautiful Women Show, where we're paying tribute to the rounder, fuller figure women. Now, in this episode, we're going to explore the rise in popularity of the BBW sector, especially in pornography. I'll cover Kelly Shabari, a new BBW starlet, who's had a showcase built around her by Digital Sin. Kim Kardashian has released more topless pics online. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> and Titcoin features as a new online currency, which is perfect for buying porn or adult products online anonymously. But first, we've got a listener question. <laughs> hey, I found your channel today and I love it. My GF and I were looking to get into anal play or an anal toy and I was wondering what you would recommend and if you had any tips Michael thanks for the message Michael I'm glad that you like us that's cool I've recently released a new video which I think will help you guys out it's called anal sex 101 where I cover all of the do's and don'ts of anal play including how to get prepared for anal play with your partner talking about it, communications, those kind of questions that you need to ask and what you guys need. So I'll add it into the show notes for you, which I hope you'll check out. Now, I guess quickly and initially, I'd recommend starting out with something small like Tantus's Little Flirt Butt Plug and some specific anal lube like the Pure Analyze Me. So I'll pop them all in the show notes. You'll be able to find them all there. So if you guys have a question for me, please email me at questions at adoralive.com. This week in the Adora Live video, if you're starting to get a bit of a sex toy collection together, it's a really good idea to get them stored correctly from the very beginning because when we had the, the store, the bricks and mortar store where um, every now and then I'd see a toy come back if it had like a warranty of an issue or something, um, what <laughs> I saw a couple of times, probably one or two just come to mind where people had stored their toys with other toys with a not very good quality material, some kind of like jelly kind of material or I don't know, just differing materials between their sex toys and they used to react with each other. So um, it's definitely worth making sure that you're storing your sex toys correctly. And in this particular video, um, it's called how to, uh, let me see, it is called just to get it right for you, how to store your sex toys. Hmm, that's easy. <laughs> so I'll give you tips and tricks on how to make sure that your toys are stored correctly for use when you want to bring them out the next time. So, you know, you want to have them prepared so you can just whip them out when you need to use them. <laughs> now getting back into it, today's show, BBW show. Now as a society, we've been steadily putting on weight. Has anyone else recognized this out there? Um, I mean, I go down to the shops or down to Marion, my local shopping mall, and uh, the last year or two years or so, I've just gone there and gone, oh my gosh, there are so many larger people as a population. I mean, you're seeing these love handles grow on all of us. And especially after I'd had my son and been pregnant and everything, I mean, I was starting to get the love handles too. At the moment, luckily, I'm starting to get my body back into shape, which is great. But, you know, as a general um theory it seems that we are all starting to put on weight it's no wonder that this particular genre has taken off in the adult industry now the big beautiful women term is a term used by women who are either barely overweight to those morbidly obese other popular names are full figured rubenesque voluptuous plump queen size or plus size now when i used to stock uh, lingerie in the in the boutique we also um, ran with the names of queen size and plus size because the lingerie companies um, use those terms as well especially in the us now a bbw generally has a body shape of large breasts and wide hips and the bbw term is commonly used in the context of fat fetishism which is a strong sexual attraction to overweight or obese people now there is a really strong community out there that absolutely adore the bbw women they are called the fat admirers or the fa 
uh, for short. <laughs> now, I during my research, I found an amazing blog, blog by um, a fellow called Donald who writes exactly how he feels about the BBWs and why he's attracted to them. So it's a really interesting read. I'd recommend you check it out. I'll pop the link in the show notes for you. Now, amongst this community, there is a controversial section known as feeders. You may have heard of the term before. Now, they have a natural desire to want to feed and fatten their BBW or a woman, or a woman who wants to gain the weight for them or for herself. Now, um, I have heard of a very small portion of feeders who um, secretly feed up their, their lady as well, which is quite a dangerous thing to do, feeding someone so they put on more and more weight because of the health issues. Um, and there have been some cases where people have died, women have died from being too overweight. Um, so please be careful if you're a feeder or a feedy. Now, the first ever plus size porn star I remember when I first entered the industry was April Flores. So I'm surprised I didn't think of her initially. So she's not my porn star of the week. She's beautiful. She is redhead, redheaded, big, beautiful, has beautiful white porcelain skin. She's quite gorgeous. And, you know, check out the photo and you'll see what I mean. Porn star of the week is Kelly Shabari. Now, Kelly, in her own words, is a mold-breaking adult industry professional. The 42-year-old has multiple college degrees, is a Mac geek, and speaks regularly at adult industry conferences on the use of social media and branding. Having entered the industry in her mid-30s, Kelly knew that she would have to have an exit strategy at some point. So over the past eight years, she has rebranded herself from being a plus-size chubby Asian performer to a leading marketing PR professional. The past year especially has been surreal, according to Shabari who has worked on a number of critically acclaimed projects. In addition to performing in Jessica Drake's Guide to Wicked Sex Plus Size by Wicked Pictures, she's also had a Digital Sin Star showcase built around her movie, Meet Kelly. So uh, I've got the cover uh, photo um, in the show notes there for you guys to check out. Now she was the also the first ever plus size performer on the cover of Penthouse Forum. And in 2013, Kelly was awarded both the Exotica and the 21st Annual Night Moves Award BBW Performer of the Year Award. She's also been nominated in 2014 for ABN's BBW Performer of the Year Award too. So lucky woman, she is busy, isn't she? Now Kelly is the only plus size performer to ever be molded for a flashlight and she is currently the product model for the plus size offerings from harness company Spare Parts Hardware. This busy woman is a brand ambassador for sports sheets and their plus size line and she also works with Shibari Wands with her namesake of course that's a great match um, and with three or four other companies on her own she also runs her own PR and marketing consultancy for the adult industry so I don't think there's any stopping her is there This week, Kim Kardashian has caused controversy yet again with a topless photo shoot for Paper Mag's cover. This shoot was a recreation of Jean-Paul Gord's 1976 photo, Carolina Beaumont, otherwise known as the Champagne Incident. The photo shows a naked, smiling black woman standing in front of a blue wall balancing a champagne glass on her bottom. Um, now they've done a really great job of recreating this picture. I've seen both of them and I'll post the photos in the show notes for you guys to check out as well. Um, uh, more than likely you've seen these photos or especially the ones of Kim on her um, or on social media but I'll pop them in there just in case you haven't. Now you'll notice that Kim in all of the shots, Kim is extremely confident about her body and her butt kind of looks surreal and it's kind of uncanny, it's kind of amazing compared to the rest of her because it is so much bigger than the rest of her body. But I don't know, butt implants, she says no, and I'm guessing probably not, especially <laughs> because during my research I found that this was not the first and probably not the last time that Kim has been topless or new. There's actually an adult actress called Leela Starr and the only difference between her and Kim is that she made 400 sex tapes whereas Kardashian stopped with one. 
<laughs> so um, I will pop a link in the show notes. Um, oh, actually, I'll, I'll pop a photo in of her so you can sort of check her out for yourself. And I'll also add in a video that's been made of Leela Star running down the street in tiny booty shorts. Um, <laughs> and you would be able to see kind of what Kim would look like if she did the same thing. It's really amazing which led me to post on our facebook page what part of kim kardashian haven't we seen now pat said to me <laughs> the inside question mark and carol said selflessness <laughs> you guys are awesome Now this week, uh, Titcoins has been released. Now if you have no idea what Titcoins is, it's similar to Bitcoins, it's an online currency. According to the Titcoin website, it is a digital currency that is an electronically created medium of exchange that can be used to purchase products and services. It essentially functions as a form of electronic cash whereby transactions occur through internet enabled devices such as a computer, tablet or smartphone. Transactions are processed through a self-regulating computer network eliminating the need for financial institutions and traditional payment processes. So I guess in a way this is really good if you don't want um, your adult purchases to be um, made on a bank statement then Titcoin would be for you. Um, there is a video which I'll post on the Adore Live show notes just so you can see what Bitcoin does. Um, so it's very similar to how Bitcoin works. Um, there's also the option of having a paper-based wallet as well with Titcoin, but I'm guessing it won't be as popular as what just having the online currency um, would be. There are some sex stores, webcam girls, adult sites, sex workers that are currently accepting the currency to date. Um, but I'd have to ask myself if I was going to accept Titcoin, would I be able to use um, them to pay the electricity bill? Um, could I buy a coffee? I don't think so and I don't actually think that it would be accepted in future. Whereas something like Bitcoin, I reckon it may be um, more of an acceptable form of payment in future, the way smartphone devices are going. Now next week's show is going to be called the Sexual Orientation Show, where we visit the Kinsey scale and I'll be measuring my own sexuality. Um, what am I, straight, bi or gay or somewhere in between? I don't know, we're going to see on the test and <laughs> I'll pop a link in next week's show notes so you can measure your own sexuality as well. Now we'll also be visiting uh, and checking out sexualist Wolf Hudson who is a, both a heterosexual and a gay porn star. I've been following him for a few years now and he kind of blows my mind. So we're going to check him out, a video called Porn Stars Without Makeup. So if you've only ever thought that porn stars were all absolutely gorgeous, you're going to see the natural, all uh, natural porn stars before they've been made up. It's kind of amazing. Head over to adoralive.com for the show notes for this episode. It's um, episode number four where I'll add all the links, videos, photos, everything mentioned on this show and please make sure that you subscribe to the show and we'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye bye. You've been listening to Adora Live Unlaced. For more information about the episodes, guests, sex toy videos and naughty things you won't find anywhere else, visit adoralive.com today.